engine board. Hey everybody, welcome back to the VMP Performance YouTube channel. I'm Justin. And I'm Joe. And we are here on the dyno with our 2017 Mustang GT, aka Track Attack. So I hear we're doing one of two things today. We're gonna make 1200 horsepower, or, or we're the, gonna bust. Or the, or the motor's gonna die trying. Yeah. We, uh, we did a little stunt about a year ago mm -hmm. when yeah, our yeah. original Gen 3 blower first thing. launched. Mm -hmm. There was some uh, controversy surrounding that. Spike. The spike. Oh, it only would have made 950 without the spike. No, it's 996 if you don't include the spike. Yeah, so <laughs> you see Joe's a little sour about this. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're just going to blow our previous record out of the water. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually heard that uh, Sean at AED holds the stock Coyote Gen 2 bottom end horsepower record on the dyno. Mm -hmm. 1200 wheel, I believe. Yeah, so so I've heard. The standards are set high. We know the Gen 3 R is awesome. Um, you guys all know that too from our previous videos. This, of course, is a stock sleeve, stock rotating assembly, oil pump gear, crank sprocket, stock head bolts, even stock head bolts, stock which head gaskets. like if we were drag racing this car, we'd have to change out for head studs. Yeah, exactly. But and for a little dyno shenanigans. We'll try and get away with it. We'll, yeah. see, we'll see how far we can push it. So is this the spicy meatball? This is the spicy meatball, the secret <laughs> sauce Gen 3R, which we'll be releasing more about that in the future, but we wanted to put our best foot forward for doing this really crazy, stupid stuff. Yeah, because just based on the testing we've already done, we know that putting a Gen 3R in this car at the level it was already at when we ran it on the dyno last year would probably make 1050, 1060 and we showed that in a video with Dave Duncan's yeah. car, the standard port stage, th or not stage three, a standard port Gen 3, <laughs> making 1050 wheel without really going too crazy with it. Hot damn. With it. And, and that's where I actually said in the video, Joe, we gotta stop, this is a customer's <laughs> car. This, this is a customer's car, but we, uh, we, stock sleeve. I, I think this is the point where we probably need to stop. Yeah. This car has actually got a bigger throttle body. Mm -hmm. It's got our uh, VMP 163R Super Mono Blade mm -hmm. on it, which is just huge. So it's about 10% bigger than the throttle body we tested with before. Mm -hmm. um, we've got the race filter on the JLT. We've got the race filter. The, the bad idle filter because it doesn't straighten out the mass air signal enough. Oh, mm -hmm. and the other thing is Track Attack's got a fuel system now. Yeah, that's new compared to the last time. And now we, uh, we also have the patch on here, the HP Tuner's speed limiter speed patch. Limiter so we're patch. gonna see if that allows us to rev past 7,000 RPM. So this is gonna be all the boost, all the fuel from the new VMP fuel system, mm -hmm. and all the RPM. And all the injector. We have ID1700s in here right now. <sighs> yes, out of Rebecca's car. Yep. Some loners, since her car's not back together yet. Mm -hmm. And man, this is either a deadly cocktail for a coyote or it's going to be one heck of a video. A spicy meatball. <laughs> <laughs> we verified we it's got E85. E85, yep, from um, the local racetrack gas station. We have a fuel pressure transducer, so base pressure is going to be perfect and fuel pressure throughout the pole is monitored. We have boost sensor, so boost is going to be monitored the whole time. It's on a dyno, power is going to be monitored, mm -hmm. and then everything else we normally monitor just when we're data logging. So right up until, if we find that limit, we're gonna know what's going on right up to that limit. We even have an oil pan camera uh, to try and uh, catch anything crazy that happens. Just in case. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> hey, Andrew. Yes. Oh, All right. He's hiding. <laughs> Andrew from Mustang Lifestyles here too, <laughs> so. We have witnesses. Yes, we have a witness. <laughs> you ready to do this? As ready as I and Track Attack is gonna Let's be. Let's do it. <laughs> Send it. Joe is going to set fuel pressure and we're going to get a little bit of heat in the engine. So base fuel pressure is at 53 right now. We have actually decided on these setups to run about 70 PSI all the time. It actually helps get a cleaner startup and you never have to worry about a boost reference line popping off or anything like that. I am a little bit nervous Joe.
right on the money for a uh, oh, man. power and for food. Oh man. You wanna tell them what it is? <laughs> <laughs> So, baby timing in like 52 Celsius downstreams before the pole, 977, 756. For the glory. Snow, pure snow. This is the BMP S550 ice tank for BMP and Roush positive displacement blowers. All right, it swallowed 10 pounds. We're gonna see what else we can get out of it. So we got ice in the ice tank. We've got the kill tune. Definitely has the kill tune in it. This should be about 21 degrees. We've got the new 2-4 Grip Tech pulleys that we're offering. And we're gonna send it. Fingers crossed? Fingers crossed. take a break and decipher this problem all right Joe thinks he's got the issue with the tune taken care of so we do not get our run cut short yeah that would suck yeah this time how far are we going with it I have the limiter set at eight eight okay Joe will lift when he thinks we've made 1200 <laughs> or I will not lift at all <laughs> Dino. I thought it was something coming off the car, so I let out. Oh, shit. <laughs> what did we make it to? 1100. Oh, <laughs> what? What? And I let out early because I thought something had flown uh, off the car. I jinxed us with the Diet Coke on the side of the... Uh, I hate Diet Coke. <laughs> 6,500. 6, Joe let out, and we only made 1099 rear wheel horsepower at 6,500 RPM. Um, I guess we're gonna have to do it again. Yeah, this time no soda. <laughs> I saw something flying out. I thought it was a piston. I'm like, ah! <laughs> New lightweight Diet Coke pistons. You know, I, uh, I got oh, my man. addiction to Diet Coke from Rebecca. She drinks this stuff like water. So now a I do too. A lot of people do and like, I don't know, I can't, it just, it doesn't taste right. It's that afternoon pick-me-up. So, we're hoping that this is gonna be the final poll. We shall yeah. see here in yes. a second. Yes, we got the, we should hopefully not have a uh, erroneous Coke can blowing off of the side of the dyno. Making Joe lift. Gave us a chance to pack 15 pounds of ice into the ice tank. Like this is a hundred thousand dollar SEMA car. Mm -hmm. We really should stop. Yeah, I mean we made eleven forty. I know our goal was twelve, but we, it's eleven forty on a stock engine. So, you know, our old Gen Two R blower. Had we have pushed it to its limit, we probably could have made nine hundred on this car. Yeah. Our Gen pretty 3, easily, I'd say. Our and the Gen Two R was a two point three liter. Our yeah. Gen Two R was a, hunt, a thousand rear wheel horsepower. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna say an even thousand, even though there's some drama over that. And with the Gen 3. With the Gen 3, and mm -hmm. that was another 100 rear wheel horsepower. And the Gen mm -hmm. 3 would make um, generally 100 to 150 over the two three liter. 
Yeah. So now, holy, holy. the Gen 3 R, we are truly realizing the potential of the 2650 rotors mm -hmm. because we are making another 100 to 140 wheel over our original Gen 3. Yeah. And this is a secret sauce, Gen 3 R, which we'll be releasing more information about. But from the outside, it's the exact same blower as the normal Gen 3 R that we're shipping right now. For fun, that's 1341 crank with the 15% drive train loss. So this is a 1300 horsepower Coyote at the flywheel. Mm -hmm. So I want some Ford engineers to give us a call and tell us what you think of that. And uh, yeah, you, you built a good engine, Ford. 30 pounds of boost. <laughs> on an eight rib. Yeah. This blower just doesn't take a lot of power to drive. Mm -hmm. And those new grip tech pulleys are working. Yep. There's nothing, yeah. no witchcraft or voodoo. It's got yeah. our off the shelf throttle body. Yeah. It's got a JLT 125, our fuel system, ID 1700s, 85. It's all stuff that you can, that we make, you can buy from us with the exception of the secret sauce blower, which is not officially available yet, but will be like in the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. And, uh, is available upon special request if you're trying to set a record at a race, like Mr. Jordan Weir going 193 and a half mile, mm -hmm. um, Mr. John Lunds and Alex Flores doing basically breaking Shelby GT500 horsepower records. Check out that video, by the way. Yeah, exactly. That, they did good with that. I'm okay here. Yeah. And by okay, I mean like we're still going to back it down, but <laughs> if you wanted to go do stupid stuff, it, I mean... Feeling's right, timing's right. Holds boost, no belt slip, so. The tow, the tune is certified by Joe. Give him yeah. like the certified by Joe thumbs up. Just like the, the Joe <laughs> thumbs up stamp. Yeah. <laughs> Preferably, those, don't stress me out anymore. Next, don't, don't ask me to do this for you. Don't do the, that. The tuning department <laughs> at VMP does not like to do insane things. No, Dangerous not, things. We don't like to be reckless. This is reckless. <laughs> But fun to do yeah. at the same time. Exactly. Just to see what the potential is. You don't know your limits till you pass them, right? Yeah. Got to challenge yourself every day. That's what that's what I do. I got to make more horsepower. My wife wants to go faster on the track, so we never stop. I, I'm not gonna say it never ends, like Stank mode. That's his. That's his thing. Uh, yeah. I, I I almost did subconsciously. All right, everybody, like Joe said, make sure you like, subscribe, and share to see more videos like this. Drop some comments what you think about our shenanigans, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.